your guide to constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the September sky. Just after sunset early in the month, Saturn appears low above the western horizon. As the month progresses, it will get harder to spot Saturn as it slips closer to the setting sun. September nights feature the wet quarter of the sky. Two neighboring constellations bear ancient references to water. Aquarius is one of the oldest constellations. In ancient mythologies, Aquarius is the god of the waters. Look for the water jar, a group of stars shaped like a Y. A rich, compact cluster of stars can be seen in Aquarius. Known as M2, it contains about 150,000 stars, about 37,500 light-years away. Binoculars present it well, but a small telescope reveals much more detail in the cluster's compact center. Nearby lies the great constellation Capricornus. Known in mythology as the water goat, it represents a creature that fed and watered the infant Zeus, ruler of the Greek gods. Algeti is the brightest star in Capricornus. It's visible in binoculars as an elongated star. This odd shape is due to a visual trick. From our distant vantage point, two unrelated stars appear to be close together. Capricornus also hosts a dense cluster of stars, M30. A small telescope easily resolves individual stars in the cluster. Majestic Jupiter rises in the east by midnight and goes on to dominate the southern sky in the hours before dawn. A small telescope exposes the planet's cloud bands. Reddish Mars makes his appearance before sunrise. Look for him in the eastern sky. This month's full moon is known as the Harvest Moon. It rises in the east just before the end of twilight on September 11th in North America, September 12th in Europe and Asia. The added bright moonlight lengthens the evening, 
to give farmers extra time to harvest their crops. The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard. <laughs>